Hey Bear Squad, what is going on? Happy Thursday. This is Polar Bear here, and we have Little Bear in the car. Van, thing, whatever you want to call it. This is probably the most irritated I've ever been at a location. Right now, I'm not upset. Right now, with what you guys are watching, this is all normal speed too. This is a six minute, 13 second clip. And uh, this is normal speed of me rage quitting, essentially. <laughs> so what's, what's happening here is Coke pulled a Dixie Narco 501E that was having a huge amount of problems. I initially asked them to give me, this is a leased machine. I initially asked them to give me a Royal 660, like all of my other locations. And uh, I caught wind that maybe it's the uh, rods that are the problem in the machine, but I, I don't know. That's a different point altogether. Um, they asked me what labels I wanted it, and they asked me how I wanted it configured. So I was like, oh, sweet. And uh, here's, here's what we get. They completely destroyed my decal, like completely demolished it. And they've got diet ginger ale instead of regular ginger ale. They've got uh, water in the wrong column altogether. Um, I'm already like, kind of like, eh, I don't know how I feel about this. And this is where it all goes to crap. They actually, they don't have surge in there either. Like I haven't even opened the machine and I'm kind of, look, see, I'm waving my hands. I'm like, this guy's got the wrong stuff in there. Is there supposed to be surge? That's supposed to be uh, Canada dry, just regular Canada dry. Um, irritated and I haven't even opened the machine up yet. Now, now I am pissed. Now I am livid. It's like they didn't even replace the machine. <laughs> it's, it's the same exact machine. This is a Dixie Narco 501E. Same exact machine. It doesn't look like they did anything. But they definitely did because you see those 2x4s over there in the corner behind Echo's head? Those were under my machine so I could move it with a pallet jack easily. I am furious. This, this is ridiculous. <laughs> now... At this, at this point, I just, I'm just going to let it go. Um, I wound up emailing my Coke bottler and I said, uh, Hey, listen, just come pick the machine up. I'll buy a machine and put it in there. Um, I tried to be as professional as possible. I, uh, pretty upset about it. You know, I, this location has not gone well since I placed it the first time. Uh, the soda machine never worked. Now I've got my dude over here explaining him to what what just happened. I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm surprised I haven't got kicked out of this location. To be straight with you, if I didn't have such good customer service with these guys, there is absolutely no way that I would keep this location. They would have kicked me out a long time ago. I. Uh, if any of you guys that work at this location are watching this, thank you so much for putting up with what I'm going through. I really do appreciate it. I just got a message. Sorry about that, guys. Turn the phone down now. But uh, that's that's what this whole mess has been. Just problem after problem after problem. Uh, they told me that they were going to have that machine in there at a certain point in time, so I told the location. And then they changed it, so I told the location. And then they changed it again, so I told the location. And then they changed it again, so I told the location I'm not sure when the soda machine's gonna get there. And then the soda machine gets there and it's the wrong machine <laughs> altogether. Uh, I told them to just come pick it up. Right now at the time of voicing this over, it is a, uh, what is today? It's a Wednesday for me, it's Thursday for you guys. And, uh, we're hoping that uh, Friday they're going to pull that machine out. And the same day I plan on taking my new trailer, loading it up, and uh, getting it off there. Now, Little Bear was curious about how the bill acceptor worked, so I showed her. Let her open it up and look at it. 
I didn't really check too much on this machine. Uh, Little Bear just wanted to see what it what it was all about, and uh, I'm all for her getting into these machines, checking them out, seeing how they work, and learning. But uh, yeah, that is probably like this has probably been one of the most frustrating experiences I have ever had with a company at all. Like I. I have to order from them too, you know, like I have to get my water from them. So it was, it's kind of a perk. Like this is something you guys should think about. If you're looking at getting leased machines, just expect horrible, horrible quality of service. I'm going to try to get an account with Pepsi again and see, see if maybe we can get somewhere with it, but I don't know how that's going to play out. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Remember to love life and live your dreams. Look at how angry I am. Peace out, Bear Squad.